Good morning. Let's get this all straight up. Um, I got a lot of questions and stuff. So before I get into the video, let's go ahead and talk about why I'm no longer in the hustling business. Um, if you are at hustlerskungfulifeskills.com or bskillforhustlers.com, nothing is going to be deleted. If there's a course that you like, you like to review it, you'll be able to review it. It's not going anywhere. I'm not changing anything. Um, another question that I got, how is the art of holding different than the corporate toolbox? The art of holding will include everything that's in the corporate toolbox plus more. So it's better. The reason that I'm doing $1,800 starting off, there's nothing there. And it's going to take me probably 30 days to flesh it out and really get a lot of training there. So that's the reason for the, the price and the price is going to go up. It's going to be better. It's going to be more like the corporate toolbox did not include a dedicated course on how to develop business credit, whereas the art of holding will and the art of holding goes into a lot of business topics and a lot of things for business. So it's going to be much, much better. Once again, if you uh, ball up the first corporate toolbox, you will get the art of holding and you will get YouTube, the YouTube super creative. So you're going to get all that. You don't have to do anything. I'm going to put it where you can access it and you can just go ahead and get it. And you're not going to have to get a new login and none of that other stuff. And <clears throat> let's talk about why I'm no longer in the business of hustling. Um, there's JT Hustles, Raise the Entrepreneur, Jay Rich. There are numerous YouTubers who are in that hustle space, the Black Hustlers Club. There's a lot of good guys giving out a lot of good information for new and better hustles, um, mission resale. There, there's a lot of people in that hustle space. And that's not exactly what I do anymore. You know, when I was in the storage auction space, I was hustling. I was doing, and you know, let's talk about that. When my partner, rest in peace, Francine, developed colon cancer and I got sick, we had to shut that down because it was a hustle. Let's go back to 2019 when I had a heart attack. I didn't have to shut my business down. My business was able to function without me. It was able to make money without my hand on it. So. I am no longer a member of the Hustlers Club and, you know, hats off to all of the gentlemen who are putting out all of this hustle content, you know, it's needed because a hustle can give you um, many attributes, training on how to start a business. So the content of this channel is about to go to how to start a business. So there will be no more how to start a business with no money because that enters into the hustle framework. Um, essentially, I know there are many people out there who don't have any money. I know that many people out there are struggling. I know that many people want to do something. And once again, uh, there's a number of channels that talk about hustle, how to use Instagram, how, how to do all that stuff. I am no longer in that business. I am in the business of helping people build scalable business models that they can literally uh, hire people and sit at home if they want to. And th this is the thing that we're going to be talking about. So once again, you know, uh, the price of the art of holding is going to go up end of March, end of March. So you've got a lot of time because I got a lot of time. I got a lot of work to do. I got a lot of stuff to put in there. I got a lot of things to do and I got a lot of training and I'm going to probably come up with another training portal just for savage finance. And I got to put that together. And there's going to be a redo of the money management course. And there's going to be the creation of the money management course for corporate citizens, because it's a, it's a different world. It's, it's a very, very different world. So we're going to be talking about that. And yeah, I'm about to focus on what I'm good at making YouTube videos, creating online courses and creating training and educating people that that's going to be the focus of my, my focus for the rest of 2021. No more, you know, the social media policy. If you're a clown or you're a bit bird, I'm not going to get into it with you. I'm just going to delete your comment and block you and keep it moving. You know, that, that can be fun at times, but essentially you're dealing with folks who are not progressive, who really don't want to do anything. Um, these folks just want to tear stuff down because they're incapable of building anything. And that's pretty much, I mean, that whole comment, like he's doing the credit game when I'm showing you titles, I guess I Photoshopped the titles. You know, when you get a title, that means you pay cash. 
from, you know, from most people, most people. But you know, we're, we're going to focus on creating an environment where people can build businesses. I have a business. I have a business that makes money when I'm asleep. I have a business that makes money when I'm sick. I have a business that makes money. And it has changed and reformatted my whole philosophy because, you know, I'm human. And I, I get in these moments where I want a little bit of the shine and, you know, real estate on YouTube is a huge, huge topic. Um, cryptocurrency is a huge topic. Forex is a huge topic. Stocks is a massive, you know, if you wanted to build a YouTube channel talking about nothing but stocks, that's a win. That's a go, as Flossie Carter would say, that's a go. And, you know, I, I kind of looked at what I do and there's value in what I do. It's just not sexy. And it's not like Forex or cryptocurrency or real estate where people want to get into these things. So I'm going to, I have an ideal of a book that's called Financial Principles. That's going to be the title of it. And put in my financial philosophy and put in, you know, and the, the financial philosophy is going to be integrated in the money management course for corporate citizens. And I'm going to redo the money management course for Savage Finance. And it's going to be in that. And I'm going to write a book. And, you know, like I said, there's a lot of stuff that I'm going to just really dig in in my space, you know, so there will not be any more hustler content on this channel. There will, you know, I might even change the name of the channel. That may happen. I may even change the name of the channel because um, the chain, the, the name denotes a certain level of content that I'm not really doing. So there's a disconnect between um, the channel and also you're not going to be able to sign up for anything at Hustlers Kung Fu Life Skills. Once again, all of that stuff is going to stay there. I'm not going to move it. You'll be able to access it. You pay for it. It's yours forever. Um, and I'm shutting down B-School to new students. And these new portals is where all of the new students and stuff will come because it's about focus. You know, I feel pretty good that I built a business based upon warm traffic and once we get into the youtube super creative we're going to talk about warm traffic versus cold traffic and we're, we're going to get into um a lot of the things that it takes to build a business things that it takes to create a business we're going to get into that and we're going to get into um business stuff and we're going to get into trust and we're going to get into um, estate planning. You know, it is my goal. It's my written goal to buy an apartment complex as my first piece of real estate. So I'm going to do what Grant Cardone did. Grant Cardone saved money for years until he had enough cash to get into his first multifamily property. And, you know, he just leveraged up from that. So that, that's, that, that's the thing I'm going to be talking about. So it's going to be a lot more business heavy, business content. And like I said, I'm seriously thinking about changing the name. I don't know what, because that just kind of popped in my head. But we're going to get into business. We're going to get into a lot more business stuff. I was watching some videos this morning of this young brother, 24 years old. He's created a million dollar trucking company. And we're in a new space. You know, when I was 24 years old, that opportunity existed, but there was no one really doing it. And now you're seeing living, breathing examples of people who, this guy, he, he didn't even finish college. And he's created a million dollar trucking business and he's growing. And these are some very, very exciting times. These are really, really exciting times for business because I wish I had this kind of content to watch when I was 24 years old. It, it didn't exist. It, there was no YouTube, there was no Instagram, there was no Facebook, there was none of this stuff. So. Let's get into this video. <laughs> Just had to put all that stuff up because I woke up with a lot of questions in my in in inbox. But what if I had $10,000 to start a business? What would I do? The first thing I would do was hammer out my legal entity. Now, I personally would do a holding company and an operating company. And since I know how to do that, that would literally cost me in the state of Georgia 200 bucks. So I, that's the first thing I would do. And then I would get my EINs for both of those companies. And then I would go to a bank. And let's talk about banking because we're gonna be talking about banking quite a bit in the corporate toolbox. FinTech banks are nice and they're convenient. 
Did you know QuickBooks has a bank? QuickBooks Cash, they actually have a bank. And if you run enough money through that, they will loan you money based upon your revenues. So there, there's a lot of banking options, but I would have what I like to call is an anchor bank. Chase, Wells Fargo, Bank of America, somewhere you can walk in and handle your business. That would be my anchor bank. That would be where I would have my holding company accounts at my anchor bank. And then I would use fin fintech banks for you know the operating companies, depending upon what's going on. Because if I had an operating company that had uh, operating operational expenses, payroll expenses, and other expenses where I had to have three checking accounts, because typically most of these fintech banks are only gonna give you one checking account. So I would also move that operating company banking uh, to uh, an anchor bank, because you're gonna need, you know, because don't ever start a company where you have payroll and you're paying these people out of one paycheck, one checking account. That, that's just, sooner or later, that's gonna bite you in the butt and your employees are not gonna be happy. Um, so you wanna have a dedicated payroll account, you wanna have a dedicated merchant account, once again, depending upon your business. So we started off with $10,000 and now we've spent 200 and then what I would do is in my holding company's capital account is I will put the rest of that money in there. So we, we've got the corporate entity, we've got the corporate banking, we've got the EIN. What's next? QuickBooks. Start using QuickBooks early as possible because your startup expenses are tax deductible up to 50,000. And then I would document those startup expenses and stuff. And then I would really sit down and figure out what is the best method to advertise my business? What's the best way? You know, would it be Facebook? Would it be um, Google ads? Would it be Craigslist? What, you know, once again, because I'm just giving you a framework and a template of what I would do with $10,000. And there's a lot of businesses you could start with $10,000. You could start a cleaning service. You could start a car wash. You can start um, a notary business. There's many, 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 many businesses that you can start with $10,000 cash. Uh, you could not start trucking with $10,000 cash. You would probably need about 50,000 to really get in the truck and then be well capitalized. And I'll do a video talking about that. But that's what I would do with the 10,000. I would not, um, you know, if I needed some education or additional help, I would maybe buy an online course, you know, because once again, you're doing that for your business startup. So that's a tax deductible expense. And I would really sit on my cash because here's the thing. Many, many people have this false notion that you need millions of dollars to start a business. And it's simply not true. If you had between 10 and $50,000 cash, there are many, many businesses you can start with that. Many, many businesses. And if you have between 50 and 100 K, oh my God, what you can do with that. And I, I will be doing videos addressing that because like I said, the, the, this channel is about to become more business focused, more business principles, more about, you know, financing, business credit. I don't do real estate, so I'm not going to talk about real estate. I'm going to talk about what I do and what I know and what I've done. And that's going to be the new focus of this channel. And as we create and as we build a community of entrepreneurs who are out here hustling, hustling hard to create um, better lives for themselves. So this is one of the things that we're going to get into. We're going to level up. We're going to be talking about stuff. Um, Erica Williams does a lot of stuff about getting jobs in the tech. I'm not going to talk about jobs. Um, you know, kudos to her for that. I've not had, I have actually been an entrepreneur longer than I've ever had a job. So I don't really know about jobs. <laughs> I don't know nothing about, uh, fun fact here. I, one day I was sitting down, like if I put down, I, I wrote up a resume and man, I was feeling some kind of proud of myself. Author did this, did this, created companies. And, um, essentially I am not someone that can be hired because no one's going to pay me, but I'm going to pay myself, you know? To, you know, that's a thesis that's going to remain in my mind until, you know, someone's like, hey, Glennon, we want to hire you. We want to pay you five million a year. OK. All right. All right. You know, I may have to look at that opportunity. But until someone comes knocking on my door and talking about we're going to pay you millions because um, I have a personal finance channel, Savage Finance. I'm getting ready to trick that up. Um, one of the things that I have come to understand and see that most of the personal finance advice is geared to folks who make little or hardly any money. 
and there's no one out there saying, hey, you just graduated college, you just got in the NFL, this is what you should do. So I'm gonna kind of move the conversation to that because there are people out there who are making, you know, 100,000 a month, 200,000 a month, and there's no one speaking to those individuals of, you know, and that's why I'm gonna have a money management for corporate citizens, and I'm gonna have a money management course for um, the regular Savage Finance channel because, you know, going back to JT Hustles, Raised Entrepreneur, uh, the Black Hustlers Club, um, Jay Rich, there's a ton of people in that space, but there's really, you know, it's kind of like, there's no one talking about mature businesses. There's no one that's talking about what you should do. And there's a lot of conversations about investing and why you should do it. And what I'm doing for many people would be considered, you know, really risky. I don't have any real estate. I don't have no stocks or bonds. I just have a company that produces six figures a month of cash with no debt. Well, I do have a little corporate debt, just a little bit. I got that EDIL loan. I got a PayPal loan that I'm going to be finished paying in about three or four months. And that's the extent of my corporate debt. And I have no personal debt. So I know that sounds risky. And I, you know, I get all of these yard birds like, well, you know, yeah, you make all this money right now. You're doing okay. But you know, one day you're going to get old. Um, <laughs> I'm 54 years old. For many people that would be considered old. So I'm already old. I've already had a health event and it didn't knock me out. So I'm going to stay on this business track and I'm going to focus even more so on this business track and you know bringing more people into the entrepreneur business owner world so that's going to be the new focus of this channel and which where we're going and the things that we're going to do and the things that we're going to build because i think it's important i feel that there are so many people who are in that hustle space and there needs to be voices in the non-hustle space i mean i've got people come to this channel who've got money and they're not broke and they just need a different level of information and that's going to be my job to provide that going forward so that's what i would do with ten thousand dollars and then i will make a special video for what i would do with fifty thousand and then i will make a video talking about what i would do with a hundred thousand because each level of capital investment gives you way more options way more options than what you will do and we'll be talking about a lot of this stuff in the art of holding and once again the art of holding is going to include everything that's already in the um, corporate toolbox plus more so if you go ahead and get in like i said it's a deal it's a deal because like i said it's going to take me 30 days to really ramp it up and it's going to go in a sequential method what's the first thing you do you create your holding company we're going to talk about that and then we're going to talk about the operating companies and the way that i've got it set up it makes sense because we go step by step by step by step by step and then um, for those of you who are youtube related we want to get into the youtube creative that's going to be a blast because i have created several youtube channels and i've created online courses anchored to those youtube channels and i made a lot of money so this is something i know how to do and this and i know how to do it well so this is something that i can teach so we're going to really really focus on doing what i know like i, I will not be talking about cryptocurrency i will not uh, be talking about all this other stuff i'm just going to focus on what i'm good at what i do well and what makes money so if you want to be part of the new art of holding understand it you're not going to get the art of holding is not a watered down version of the corporate toolbox what it is, it is an upgrade because it's going to be very specific to business owners and people who want to become corporate citizens. So it's going to be more. It's actually going to be more and the price will be going up. But once again, there, there's not there's nothing there. You know, today there will be some stuff there. And it is my uh, goal to add an hour of training per day to the art of holding so the first week you know we'll get there and we'll get into some meat and some training and then i've got to set up my studio and get my presentation together and then you know that that's one of the reasons that i'm like saying hey you know 1800 you can get in there because there's nothing there right now there, there's nothing there but it's coming it's coming and the same thing with the youtube super creative um we're going to get into that because these are the skill sets that i have and this is the stuff that i can do and these are the things that i'm going to put together so that's it. Hopefully you enjoyed this presentation. Put in the comments, what do you think the new name of the channel should be? Because like I said, we're, we're getting rid of all of the old and we're creating a lot of new, new, new. So with that, I will see you guys later. 
the links are below the correct links are below we had a little problem with that last night but the correct links are down there so if you want to become the art of holding uh, like i said uh, i'm not going to raise the price until the end of march going into april because at that point that's going to give me about five weeks to get it fleshed out get a lot of training there and have these th these conversations so with that i will talk to you guys in the next one